beloved, I just want to finish telling you what happened in that <laughs> today. I didn't get to finish the rest of it. So that song that I put on there, um, we sang together, my um, b brethren and I, after we I gave the gospel and um, the word of God with power about the temple, about the good shepherd, about the light of the world, and about the oil in our lamps and all these wonderful things about being born again. I had people come up and get the gospel tracts. Um, and big crowds of people that are, you know, viewing the, the campus to go to college there and stuff. And um, they heard the, the good news. And this happens quite often when they got great big groups and they've got a speaker showing them around campus. And I'm able to speak to a, a lot of people. I don't know how many, I think they said 144,000, um, 144 um, nations, not thousand, 144 nations come to that college. That's what I heard like years and years ago. Um, but I'm not sure. I never checked up on that number, but I thought it was interesting. It was 144 nations. <laughs> so um, we speak to many nations in this one campus. So God is reaching the world um, about his son. And hallelujah. His testimony is to believe in. His testimony is about his son. Hallelujah. God's testimony. And so um, I forgot to tell you that after the two left that were from Bethel and my brother said, gosh, I felt the Holy Spirit all around and I could see the power of the Holy Ghost. He goes, it was amazing. And he goes, and, and I felt like the spirit going into somebody. I don't know who I goes. It was amazing. And as he's standing there, you could see the Holy Spirit just totally engulfed him. And he started having tears in his eyes. This is a young man in his twenties who's going to college. He's do, doing an English um, degree and he just got touched by the Holy Spirit. And I love to tell people about this. And he just smiled and he was so, he was rejoicing in his heart. You could see the joy because that was what he first came up to me. And he said, I just want the Holy Spirit to walk in the Holy Spirit more, not in my flesh. And, you know, you are in the spirit when you're born again. Your flesh is dead with Christ. I've told them that. Um, you're buried and your life is hid in God. And it says that you're a new creature. And he is our, he is our potter, beloved. He's molding us and making us exactly what he created us to be, you know. And we, it says in the scriptures in the New Testament that we were, com we are complete in Him, in Christ. Hallelujah! And so you could see the joy just coming upon His face, and it, it, right now I just feel joy in my heart also for this brother, this beloved brother, and um, we started praising God, and uh, oh, Hallelujah! I just feel like praising the Good Shepherd right now, our our King and Priest, High Priest, and who. So <laughs> I'm just a little emotional here, um, happy, joyful stuff, but uh, it, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And um, I gave him the Bible that I promised him for one of his friends. Um, so I give out free Bibles um, to people, King James Bibles, so they can know the truth for themselves and have a relationship with God and through Jesus Christ. Um, it says in um, Psalm 25 in verse 22, Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. So any troubles, he was having troubles. Um, he was confiding in me about troubles, and I confided in, in him about my attacks and troubles because we're all, you know, we're all correctable. We're all, um, you know, molded by God, and um, our our walk is, you know, following the good shepherd. And, and even though you know that you're born again and you're seated in heavenly places, uh, sometimes we walk in the flesh and remember the flesh persecutes the spirit and so we've got to humble ourselves that was one of my prayers during my fast was to be humble in the Lord so that I can reach the lost and of course God has